He had his first open heart surgery about five days old. And then five days later, he was put on life support. Dr. Turek actually came to us and talked about doing a valve repair surgery on his heart. And he did it and it helped some, but it wasn't, it was basically a Band-Aid, you know, for us to make it through transplant. Right before he got his transplant, it was, uh, it was getting scary. It was not doing very well at all. Independently, he had both heart disease that needed transplantation, as well as uh, a lack of uh, uh, immune system to, that produced T cells. This was very serendipitous um, that, that Easton presented to us. You know, the, the work that we had done in the laboratory uh, was was based around using thymus uh, along with heart transplantation in order to develop tolerance. So basically retraining the immune system and having the thymus of the same donor and heart grow up together. Um, and this allows the, the thymus to recognize that new heart itself. And, and that's what we've we've done in the laboratory and we thought, you know, this is an opportunity for Easton. We waited 112 days for him to receive his heart. And that's around when Dr. Turek came to us with the idea of the thymus transplant as well. It was one of those things where we get to make this decision for our son, which could change how transplants are done worldwide for not only children with heart defects, but children and adults of all getting all sorts of transplants. And we got that done, I think it's about a week or two after his heart transplant. It all worked out. He came back from his uh, came back from his transplant and looked like a brand new kid. He got a whole new gift of life. <laughs> this this historic case could truly change the way that transplants are done in the future and for all solid organ transplantation, not just for heart transplantation. If you could develop tolerance, not only would you not reject the organ, but you wouldn't need to be on the doses of immunosuppression uh, that help you from rejecting the organ. Uh, you would be able to extend the longevity, hopefully, of these transplants to many, many decades. I hope that as he gets older, he gets to be proud of his scars and know that he not only got to save his own life, but got to save other people's lives as well.